like and that. Then everybody thought that was me on the hook. They man. thought you were saying, my your boy stay friends. They thought it was you. Mm-hmm. Say, bro, why Frank was so fed up about that? I ain't saying it on my ear. He won the he recognition. Said, he, he said he never performed that song with y'all one time. He did one time. He said he, no, didn't, it, get it, the, he, did he three, said he didn't get to do it. He did three times. He didn't get to do it on a big stage. Oh, it was on the spot. Oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. know he count that. It trail, trail, trail the bull. <laughs> trail knew what he was doing. They did on a video. They put that, that to the side, they bro. Put that in the business. Why they do it? No, like when it first come on, he don't say, when they say, your boy stay fresh. You don't see him. You don't see him. Hey, bro. And when they come on and say, call me Mr. Hit that, that's when you see him. That nigga back. That nigga back nah, standing over. He said, you can't tell that's me singing, man. That look like an extra. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. <laughs> you see, you that's can't. so wrong. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Dallas first started out. We had this, the, the boogie culture. I wanted to talk about that anyway. We had T. Will, Juicy Nine. Who started the boogie culture? Who started? I I, I, I want to say the club, cert, J-Rock, clean cut promotion era. That was the foundation of boogie because he was the promoter that gave us rap artists an opportunity to have a stage. He gave us that platform. He sh- he was our QC. Okay. Unknowingly. And, and he, he he made a million, well over a million dollars off club promotion. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we had everybody, Paper Chasers, Trelly, Prince Rick, God damn me, uh, like all the artists is like the, it's just so mean I can't think of their names right now. But everybody was cool. We used to do shows together. Everybody was A-O fucking K. And some motherfuckers start getting deals. Well, wait a minute. When so Ray when said Mo- they wasn't getting no money, he no, said, no, no. He, they, said, he said they no, song he, was bigger than he, they he did said, them. He said that in the beginning. You got to think about it. Me and Ryan used to be in that little raggedy two though Honda, four though Honda, funky ass Honda, and nigga had stinky feet, socks, <laughs> funky in the beach. I swear to God, <laughs> man, that's crazy. We. <laughs> 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 When they start, when we start getting deals, like when we start getting deals, it turned friendship into competition. It turned competition into enemies. It turned enemies into, I don't like this nigga, bro. We was thugging. We used to sleep in Motel 6s, piled up in rooms together, doing shows in Navarro and TJC and motherfucking Mount Pleasant and Mount Vernon, all these little country ass did towns. You get, when, when did, did you get your deal when Mr. Hit That came? We got a deal with Mr. Hit That Kane. Okay. You know I'm finna get you. Yeah. Uh, Wide Frame was on here. Yeah. And Wide Frame said that when you guys, he, he showed you love for sure, but he said when you guys got the deal, y'all, like when they got it, he didn't even include you in this part. He yeah. said they gave him a call, Trilly and them, they gave him a call. Yeah. They tried to offer him, I want to say, was it 200 or 600? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred. I remember vividly. Two hundred. <laughs> and, and, and he said they knew they had a deal. And he said, "Man, I'm not taking no two hundred dollars for my purse." It was in August. It was in August, right before kids went to school. I remember me and my me and my wife was at the uh, getting the kids some uh, clothes for school. And I remember walking through there, and Trey and them called me, and they were like, "Look, we got the paperwork for you. We offer you six hundred dollars." Oh, it was six hundred. That's my right hand guy. They would offer me six hundred dollars. I was offended. <laughs> I said, six I ain't think I don't see how they rock into this song and uh, that song is everywhere. They ain't finna give me no six hundred dollars, bro. What's wrong with y'all? I said, and plus, what you don't realize is I've been in this game a long time. And for you to be calling me, offering me some money, you finna get a deal. Take this out. This trail the cheapest <laughs> Trail so cheap as Shout out to Trail, man. Trail cheap as and he know it. <laughs> and I laugh about what, this. Shit. What the hell happened? And what's so crazy? Like me and me and Trail did not see eye to eye for the longest. I never spoke negative on him. I never. I just just didn't deal with him. I don't deal with nobody. I don't fuck with. Like I ain't gonna talk about you. I don't speak on it. Only reason I'm I even saying his name now is because I seen him at one of the little uh, DJ meetings or whatever the vertical okay. meeting. 
You know what I'm saying? We we got to actually just talk. Talk. You know? Remind you, we ain't talked since like 2011. Y'all ain't talked in all them years. Yeah, I don't. I don't got nothing to, like because it was a situation that happened where. Well, you didn't feel good about what had happened. Are nah, they, the, uh, they, 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 I, I, can, I can talk about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about it in a second, but we talked about it, and I still remember vividly why Frank only won two hundred dollars for that verse. He didn't know what it was gonna do. Trail, was that at first? This was when it first started. Okay, I get it. Trail stupid ass didn't pay him. And he had the money to pay him. He wouldn't pay him. He didn't pay him. We thought he paid him. Everybody thought he paid him. It was fucking two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Why fame was performing and got me holding the wild ass artist showcases. You know, he was a cable man. So he wasn't balling back then. There's no dis And he only Frank. wanted two hundred. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga had a good voice. So you know what I'm saying? There ain't no No, he said that. He yeah, said so that you know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm just speaking facts. So Trail didn't pay him. The song fucking blew up. It, like I've never seen a song blow up as fast as that song did. And the catch is, everybody at that time, Arkansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, everybody was driving to Dallas. Everybody. So when people from Arkansas was coming and knowing his voice, like damn, bro, you got a song that shit hot the club going crazy. He been hearing about this shit for down there over six to ten months. You got to think about TSU performing this whole at halftime. PV this. It's bigger than life, my nigga. Like, <laughs> nigga, what the? F <laughs> this did he? And he came on the back end and say, now, "I'll I, give it to you now." I don't, man. That shit crazy. He had to come bro. on the back end and say, "I'm gonna go on and give it to you now." now. I, I, but that's the way he acted. Like the I, deal was I, on the I, table. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I don't see. I don't see. I don't see why Frame having to lie about that. However, Rod Frame didn't even know about our deal. Only reason why Frame had like three or four deals he had signed to, so that's his, right. That's so right. So his name pops up in the in the in the in the in the payment process. So the labels contacted Y Frame. I'm only assuming this yeah. because this this is how business go. When you implement each person's name, and then that's when it start getting to the point where Y Frame was like, damn, oh no, take that back before I even go there. <laughs> <laughs> this Y Frame wasn't tripping about the money. Yeah, he never gave a. F about that money you know why frame wanted what he said man put my name in the credits put me in a music video and take me to a few of the shows he didn't care about getting paid he wanted to let the world know that it was him was. he loved because he said he didn't get no he was at the club and it's, he said they didn't know it was him he was, was on him. the song they did not know it was him he tried to tell him that's, that's me it. he's singing on that bro i had the worst time trying to tell <laughs> people that's me <laughs> to this day people don't believe that's me Boy, I stay fresh, then they looking at my moves, trying to steal a That shit used to eat that. They ate him up. I know it did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were mad about and that. Then, everybody thought that was me on the hook. They man. thought you were saying, my boy, stay fresh. They thought it was you. Mm -hmm. Say, bro, why Frank was so f up about that shit. <laughs> He said it on my ear. He won the he recognition. Said, he, he said he never performed that song with y'all one time. He did one time. He said no, he didn't get to do it. He three, said he didn't get to do it. He did three times. He didn't get to do it on a big stage. Oh, it was on the spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he count that. It trail, it trail, trail, trail the boot. <laughs> trail, trail knew what he was doing. They did on a video. They put they that to the side, bro. In the business. Why they do it? No, like when it first come on, he don't say, when they say, your boy stay fresh. You don't see him. You don't see him. Hey, bro. And when they come on and say, call me Mr. Hit that, that's when you see him. That nigga back. That nigga back nah, standing over. He said, you can't tell that's me singing, man. That look like an extra. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. Hit that, hit that, call me Mr. See, you That's so wrong. <laughs> that was so Whose wrong. Whose idea was it to and put it, him to the side? Who hey, organized hey, that? Look, hey, look. Because he did bad business, because he didn't stay true to his word, because now but it ain't our fault that Trey didn't pay him. But the catch is, since he acted like a b when it came to the deal, they treated him like a b when it came to the video and the recognition on his name. Because the catch is, bro, yeah, more songs that we want to do. He was so f about this one song, he wouldn't do it. He didn't allow himself to make more. He was going, bro, we was going to make this a Nate Dog of Dallas. Could nobody touch this? A voice, fool. No, no, no. That nigga song over here. The boy stay fresh in a bit. Looking at my moves, trying to steal a nigga shit. 
Your boy stay fresh, stand up bed. Looking at my mood, trying to steal a nigga shit. They call me Mr. Hit that hoe. Call me Mr. Hit that hoe. Call me Mr. Hit that hoe. When I hit the flow, shorty, whoa. When that nigga brought it on here, I knew. I said, boy, this nigga talented. Hey, listen, bro. He supposed to have been a Nate Dog of Dallas, and this was his introduction. This goofy nigga was so fucked up and couldn't see the future, bro. And and I don't want to say goofy because at the end of the day, I'd be pissed off too if that was me. I, I can't lie. Yeah. Because you got to What think, Did he ever come talk to you about and be like, man, I talked to him because I, he, it seemed like I'm you a, and him had a relationship. I'm a great where, communicator, bro. What did y'all talk about? How did you, we what talked did you, about he, tried to, he was like, man, y'all hey, got to give my credit. I, I told him, I said, bro, they did you wrong, fool, because I didn't know. I'm thinking he got paid. That's why I'm like, bro, why you acting like that? You paid you. Bro, nobody paid me. <gasps> what? Nobody paid. Because, bro, he didn't, he didn't want, he wanted, bro, man, bro, he didn't want nothing. He just wanted y'all to and give him his recognition. And on top of that, fool, it was my decision to put the nigga on the song. Fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, he so, said he brought. He came to meet you. I think he said somewhere. Man, we we met. I, man, this nigga. And had, when he met you, you say, yeah, yeah, like, that's bro, it. it got to be his voice. If, if y'all gonna make a song about me, it got to be with him. That that's what I want. But when the video come on, man, and you, yeah, you, nigga, you I'm gonna it, tell you something. You had that red streak in your hair, right? The blonde, and that that blonde streak, bro. and you come up out that damn convertible. Nobody thought about no damn wide frame, bro. Hey, but the kids, and, and nigga was thinking about Mister Hit that hoe. You was coming up out that hoe. You were acting a damn fool. Hey man, RP my nigga who walked that was my nigga Vic. <laughs> so I'm saying, big you so come up out that hoe, man. Everybody in East Dallas. No, but saying, that chorus so, made it to me. That's the only matter, part that I knew. No, I knew when that that's nigga come up out that damn convertible. In that bitch. And, and that's when I, I, I didn't so think look, about him no more. So I was like, he focused me on the it, fact that I'm looking at him. Yeah, see, but the yeah, kids all right, and I supposed to be in the flavor flavor of the group. Okay, but the kid cheers. See, that was the issue. Trailer. Well, it wasn't Rick. It was Trail. It was two reasons. Trail. First off, Rick and Trail was best friends. Yeah. It's three of us now. Rick liked it. my personality a little. I'm different. I'm loud. I'm funny. I ain't too much. And I, I don't care. Like, I don't care about a lot of stuff. Like, my life is... Really at, easy after we go perform in front of 5,000 people, I'm going to the YMCA to go work on Monday morning. Wow. So I was a regular... Like yeah, so, yeah, I yeah. had a good balance. So it was, so it was like the teenagers. They used to just love the fact that it was like, man, we got the live in the city. And he our summer camp leader. Like he could be anywhere. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's just the shit I like to do. Because at the end of the day, you got to do shit that's, that you love to do. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.